All right, welcome back to this tutorial in Maya. Um, this is going to be something a little differently. We have basically just um, modeled this chair out, but we still have more work to do. Um, but I will get back to it. Right now, we're actually going to have to focus on something a little bit more differently. Um, for this, I have to focus on creating a bookshelf uh, for this office that um, that I'm referencing. So. Let's just go into Firefox and grab ourselves a reference. So let's go and create um, empty bookshelf. So something like you can find something on Google Images. Um, preferably, you want a large image because uh, you know anything small would it would be, it's going to be a little bit hard to reference. So um, something like I don't know maybe something like this would work. Um, it's not going to be exactly this, but I can go and reference this though. So something, you know, something similar to, you know, maybe like that. Or what you could do is you could probably, I don't know, if you want, really, if you want to get really technical, or if you want to get really specific, you can just go on to here and find something like this. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can, maybe if, if they didn't have all that stuff on there maybe I would have taken it okay so now we have applied our basically our reference to the material to the plane so now we can use this as a reference guide for our um, for our bookshelf because this is what we you want to be referencing you always want to use a reference I mean regardless because you know you don't ever want to really go off whim unless you absolutely know for certain what you you know what you're doing but either way, it's always smart to use it regardless. So, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag this all the way over here. Just kind of get this out of the way. F to focus. Okay, so why don't we just make this a little bigger. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now let's just get down to it. All right, let's just get it, create ourselves a, a nice cube. So, I don't know what you can see about that. And then we'll just bring that up to about there so now let's turn on x-ray so we can kind of see what we're doing okay now let's just kind of bring that over here bring that a little downward and let's see if we can just lower that a little bit more and then stretch it out to the appropriate size so that's pretty good okay so first things first is we have you know, if you can see from our reference model, here, let me just bring that back a bit, turn that off. See from our reference model, we have, you know, we just, we have these shelves right here, so there's two of them, and then we have one going down the middle, so one, two, and then there's the bottom three, so. But for this, we just have to create those, and that's pretty easy to do. So all you have to do is go to your, um, you know, your selected edge edge tool and then you just want to see if you can create some edges from right there so we got something like that and then sort of reference it on I'll turn this on okay so we have something down the middle so when we go when we go to our, our front view so let's go to the front view uh, go over there okay so there we go so we have okay so we now, if you notice right now, we have our edge in there, but it's a little off. So what I could do is just um, just backtrace, and uh, there we go. Okay, so why don't we just get rid of this again and create something like about you know, it's about there, maybe a little bit. You know, it's maybe it's a little bit off to the edge, but that's okay. We can always change it later. Okay, so then what we can do next is create this there and create this there so okay so now we basically have our reference modeled out okay so now what we can do is go back to our front view and this is what it's going to look like per se now one of the things i've noticing about this is that you know you have you know these edges or you have this nice you know you know edge right here all around the bookshelf so what we might have to do is actually create another, you know, uh, we might have to actually go in there and just model this part out. Um, kind of just create those edges right here. So, like, watch this. And something like that. 
So then when we get one, so then when we go back in there, we can actually model it from the reference photo per se. So so that's pretty good. Okay. So let's go back in here, and then what we can do is delete these, not delete these faces, but we can actually extrude them in. So what we can do is just extrude these in to about right there. And then we got ourselves, you know, this, now, we, now we have ourselves this like really cool shelf. But only problem is, is that it does, the only thing is that, it, you know, it leaves these, which don't really add to, you know, doesn't give it its shape, doesn't give it its depthness, because there's, you know, there's, you know, it doesn't really give it that. Like as you can tell from the reference model, you know, it looks like it's a one big pile. It looks like like one big piece of wood. But yeah, this doesn't. This looks like you know, a thin sheet of like paper or something. So, what we're gonna do is go back into our um, edge tool, and then we're just gonna create these right here sort of give it that reference and then maybe down one more right here just give it that okay so now we'll go back into our extrude tool select each face and then let's do a um, let's see I think it was a control uh, control G no oh, oops <laughs> uh, I don't remember the command but anyway I'll just do an extrude and then we will bring these in so now it looks a lot better per se. So now this looks a lot nicer. So um really does. But uh, also one well, another problem I f keep forgetting is, you know, you got to get this one too. So so back to the drawing board. <laughs> um so now oops. So now I just grab your edge loop tool again and then just create that. So now once you're done, yeah, you select each face. Do an extrude bring these in and there you go that's pretty much how you do it so now you got this really nice looking book case from our reference model and now um, basically all you can now if you want you can go in there and basically tweak this out to your I guess your preference you what you could do is go to mesh um, no edit mesh and go to do a bevel and sort of bevel this out, I guess, for its round, for its offset. Um, you can, I guess, increase that a bit. So I just kind of go in there and go in there and just kind of bevel it out. You could do like a two, no, not a two. You can do, I don't know, you could play around with it. Play around with the uh, beveling and see if you can you know, make this a little bit more of a rounder shape. But I don't know. It seems from the reference model that we got pretty much that. Um, now the only thing I could make some adjustments on is maybe I could make these a little thinner. This one a little thinner because it seems as if this edge, you know, this this area right here is a little too thick for my liking. So what I could do is go back and just um, fix that. So I can get rid of that edge loop. And then what I could do is go back in there. Let's see, why don't we just go to our front view? Let's see, let's try redoing this. I didn't really go from the reference, so probably could fix that. Just kind of backtrace. Okay, so what we could do is create one here. And one here, so about like that. That's good. And then for this one, you know, same thing. You know, just keep continue, just do from right there, and from right there. And then for this one, uh, we could probably get it to about there. So that's pretty good. And then for our reference model, uh, just basically just do this. So something about like right there, and something about right there. So that's pretty good. And then what we could do, I guess we could probably get rid of that um, one edge right there in the middle. And we could go to Edit Mesh and then um, basically delete edge vertex. So, um, oh wait, wait, oops, I got rid of the other one. 
so I just apply that one right there. Oh, oops. Come on. Am I was freaking out? Oh, there we go. Okay. So it didn't really show up. Okay. So now we have our bookshelf pretty much set. So now you just select each face. And then we'll just do an extrude. Press this little, you just, you know, you have to just press this part right here. And then you want to basically go in like that. So it's pretty good. So there's pretty much our, you know, chance at it. Oh, wait. Oh, something happened. Oh dear, I'll have to go back and... Oh, I forgot to add in the... Uh... This is just all over the place, I apologize. Basically, I have to go back in and fix... You know, I didn't add in those uh, loops all around it, so I have to go back in and do that. Okay, that's one. There's two. And then there's... Three. Okay, so now it looks better. Okay, so now we can just go back in there. Press Q. Okay, now we can go back in it and extrude these. So, press there and then just bring these back in. Turn X ray off. And there you go. So, there's pretty much your. Uh, your bookcase and then if you want basically just if you want to make this a little better you can bevel this out uh, make these edge loops a little bit you know you can probably bring them in a little sm uh, smaller and whatnot so but that's pretty much it for this bookshelf and now I'm going to basically go into my actual reference model and try to reference it reference it the best I can so but that's all I got for you so I hope you enjoyed so 